we had a fascinating chat um, <laughs> amongst ourselves about mm. this dude who was on Humans of New York. Man, um, Rex. And this, this like we read this incredible. If you missed it, we read this incredible uh, caption, which is what he said. Um, and for those of you that missed it, um, it's it's up on Humans of New York on the Instagram page. We talked about it at length on a couple of the last few episodes. But it was this dude, Rex, who talked about how he's one of those people that um, who can like hold their orgasm, in, their ejaculate in, have an, or, an internal orgasm, essentially. And we played that and we talked about it, like I said, at length. And... Um, and then he said how there was, you know, he was giving thousands of orgasms. It sounded like pretty braggadocious. And and then he was like, I'm not doing that anymore because I don't want to make it hard on them, on mm -hmm. women. He doesn't want to break their hearts. Yeah. He's like, and then he's like, it must suck for them to like have sex with me and then have to ha eat dirty sock soup for the rest right. of their lives. Well, um, no, because women were falling in love with falling him. Falling in she love. Would go, he would find like shrines built to him. To him in a woman's house. And mm -hmm. he was like, I was, I was really fucking with people. So we we talked about it, like I said, and 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 then there's a new post now. And the new post is this one. Um, this yeah, and this one, it's it's a it's a it's a new one from Humans of New York. It's him again, and he's in a sauna, and there's two women. He looks like he's, well, he's giving a foot rub to one, and the other one's just laying there. And the quote on this one says, "I'm basically a big butch lesbian." I hosted lesbian parties for 10 years, and let me tell you, they adore me. A lot of my closest friends are big butch lesbians. Certainly my best bodybuilding partners, amazing, aggressive, powerful women. Very dominant over the males in the gym. Not dominant over me, of course, unless they're busting my balls. Because strong women are ball busters. They're just like the dudes. They are the dudes. They just happen to be dudes that are dudettes. They, understands both sides of the, they understand both sides of the fence which is why we get along so well. Don't get me wrong, I'm still friends with a lot of dude dudes, but a lot of guys are just too rough around the edges when it comes to women. I don't want any part of it. I find it grotesque. One term I've been hearing these last couple of years is body count. I've heard men say, what's her body count? They're referring to the amount of people a woman has been with. What a pathetic, disgusting, wormy question. How dare you? This is an independent soul. This is the human that needs to be treated with honor and respect. This isn't some piece of property you can put in a box. Imagine thinking someone is not worthy of you because they were a little experimental when they were younger or even when they were older. That's their choice. Leave them alone. A woman can be with whoever she wants, whenever she wants, however she wants. If you ask me, it all comes down to insecurity. A lot of women think if she's had a lot of lovers, there will definitely have been somebody better than me. They feel threatened and they try to make that the woman's problem. What a sad way of viewing things. No matter how many lovers a person has had, they'll never have been with another you. Every person comes to the table with what they bring to the table. All of us are exactly what we are, different. All that and all, sorry, and that is what makes us all so special. There's a typo there. Um, so, wow, it's a little different dimension we're seeing. That is a different dimension. And that's a very, um, you know, very insightful thoughtful. and thoughtful mm -hmm. uh, uh, kind of outlook on on being with a whore after... Mm -hmm. um, Some slut rag yeah. used up cum dump. <laughs> You're trying to, yeah, trying to justify being with this absolute yeah. trash bag of a human. Sure, who no self-respect. Half of a city sure. and doesn't care about her own uh, body and just gives it to everybody. And yep. then you can be like, oh, you know, we're all different people. So... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, this fucking slut oh, doesn't care about herself. Why should I? So anyway, um, this guy, I mean, there's just so much to unpack in all yeah. of his posts, but he's fascinating. And we have a little treat uh, for for ourselves and for you, the listeners and viewers. I'm sweating. Um, uh, we're going to talk to Rex right now. Oh, my God. The legend. What if he's like, hello? Hey, hello. Rex. This is he. Hey, man, how are you? This is Tom Segura. Thanks for uh, taking the call. Tom Segura. <laughs> Listen, I am never going to hotel rooms again. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm ah. sorry about that. I'm uh, actually, you don't have to worry about hotel rooms because now I only have internal orgasms. I don't ejaculate anywhere. Um, it's good. It's good. You're going to get superpowers. Dude, You're I'm gonna get microcosmic orbital energy rating to the next level, brother. Dude, I'm so excited to talk to you. Gloria, um, knock it off. 
I'm here with um, tell that woman to keep it down. I um, oh, that was that was actually a, a beautiful hound puppy in the backyard. <laughs> oh. I know. In the backyard with me right now. I know. I yeah. I'm here with um, Christina. Hi, She's, Rex. Uh, can we just talk about the meow meow? Sure. I what? loved your special. Oh, thank I you so much. I never think I'd be able to talk to the two of you guys. I'm oh. a huge fan. Well, we're, you both know. we're well, huge fans of you. Oh. We, um, we, <laughs> we, uh, we yeah, saw I that, saw. we, we saw that post and, um, we were so marveled by it. And we've, we've actually talked about it at length, even more, even with other guests. And, um, I, uh, you know, I think I was just very insecure and jealous at how powerful you are in the bedroom. And I just, I have true. Just another person like any other person. I just happen to be lucky enough to have erectile dysfunction by the age of 19. Did you really have ED at 19 years old? So uh, I don't know if you know the term, um, like when people have high testosterone, there's a term called bed humping. Uh-huh. Or if you have very high testosterone, a lot of young men, at, at, from like whether it be from 8 years old or 11 years old, whenever they start catching hard-ons in their sleep, they start to... Bed hump. Yeah. They don't even know that they're doing it. So they desensitize their penises. Well, for me, uh-huh. I had been around so many beautiful women from a young age. My mother had worked at a lingerie bar. I grew up around topless and new bars. Mm. And then at the age of 14, I was, I grew up in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So nice. I was there during the whole spring break capital of the world. Type yeah. Era. Okay. And so with that happening, everything was different for me. And there's just beautiful women everywhere all the time. Yeah. I just was always around it. And so visually, it was very overstimulating. So you became like this, um, obviously, like really great lover. Is it a combination of the fact that you, you studied, it's, it's you good, read this it's information? It, what's that? It's, no, it's, 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 it's matches. It's, it's when the post came out, it's written well. Yeah. But it's, it's. I haven't been with thousands of people. I just happened to be with the right people. Yeah. And shared the right energy. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Those that we have shared it back and forth. And if you do the work, like I said in the, the, the interview, because the interview is a little different from the post. Yeah, what, what's for sure. Is what I said, but it's not in the exact, always exact order of how I said it and exactly how I said it. It is word for word, pretty much what I've said. Is a lot of and, your, uh, is your, a lot of your like high level, like you know, the fact that you're you're so good at at this with with whomever is it is it a lot of hand stuff? Like is it you know like using your hands well, to achieve like this? I said, it's all right. So it is about being very sensitive, uh-huh. asking what the other partner needs. Right. And a lot of times people are very insensitive, or I should say, are so sensitive that they're afraid to talk. Yes. They're afraid. To yes. Talk. So you have to then listen and watch them and see how sensitive they are to these things. Yes. One of the most important things that a man or woman with whoever their partner is can do is to watch the eyes, watch the facial expressions, watch the breathing, take your time, be as soft and gentle as possible until someone tells you different. Soft works a lot better than hard. Yeah. And soft and slow and steady. The big thing is, is about taking your time and asking the right questions. And sometimes those right questions can't even be asked. So I tell people on a regular basis, especially men that I'm friends with, because there's a lot of men out there that don't know that they're just going around bang, 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 bang. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. You've got to take your time. Like for me, I'm rarely a guy that leans into a kiss. I, I have to be leaned into because mm-hmm. I'm nervous. I'm six foot four, I'm about 255 pounds. I'm a little bit intimidating. So the last thing I want to do is make someone feel intimidated. Yes. And especially nowadays with, with the way everything is, I have to be even softer than I was before. And, and I've had a lot of girls like, hey, are you not interested in me? I'm like, oh, I'm super interested in you because we're on three, four, five dates and I've never tried to kiss them. Uh, Rex, and can I, I ask you, Rex, so, so do we, just so that we're clear, do you not use your penis with, with these women? Oh my God, are you kidding me? Of course there's, 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 you're having sex oh, okay. at any level that you choose to with the partner that you're with. But I have had a lot of partners that I chose not to take, as we call it, the lingam, the wand of light, yes. the penis, mm-hmm. or as my favorite was, Chris, 
Christina, when you said the peener. Yeah, the um, peener. Yeah, there's been a lot of partners where I've chosen to actually give them great orgasms. They allow me to share with them their bodies, my body, but I don't even take my pants off. I can Whoa, probably well. say it's embarrassing because I'm a little bit too active when I was younger and somewhat active this past year. It's been kind of a good year. Um, mm. I probably had somewhere over 100, 150 partners that I've never taken my pants off. So, so hold Whoa. on. If you were to give my husband directions <laughs> okay, today, I, get, tell him yeah. what to do, Rex. You tell Tom. Oh, oh, you want to you talk about hands-on stuff or you want to talk yeah. about microcosm no, we want energy raising? Whoa. Both. I mean, both. Hands-on stuff. Let's just go hands-on because no okay. So The microcosmic, orbital energy raising, and all of the other electrical body stuff, you don't want to learn from me. Okay. I am a squirrel trying to get a nut in that world when it comes to Montauk Chia. You could get one of his audiobooks. I can literally give you a list of his audiobooks. Okay, okay. we'll take that. And the first one, the first one, most importantly, beyond, in my opinion, is always the multiply orgasmic woman by him and his wife. You can always do great work with that. Then there's a deeper one. It's a thick book, but it's a worthy read for both of you. And it's The Healing Tao by Montauk Chia. Now, both of those are life-changing, in my opinion. This order is, those. Again, this is my opinion. But, oh, are you ordering them right Yeah, I'm, now? I'm order having the producers right order them right it. now. Oh, they're such fantastic books. You're going you're gonna to be so I want, I want the listeners. Um, I want the listeners to hear the, the, the order those Montag Chia books. Uh, so far, we know, um, you know, take your time, pay attention, look at the eyes. Um, and now I'm, I'm ready for knife? this. These important things were just the most basic of basic things for sure. people to do. They don't listen to, to the significant other, and that's a sad thing. Whether it be man and a man or woman and a woman, there's a list, literally, um, for, for you, for yourself, very important, is Qigong for prostate health and sexual vigor. Okay. That is for you, Tom. That is for you. That's for our boy, Bert, who's got the heavy belly. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, come on. That's dangerous. Let's be honest. Dangerous. It's, it's dangerous you know, and it's growing. Look how amazing it's growing. You look. look yeah. Yeah. I couldn't believe it was you when I saw the when all uh, like a hundred people sent me your um <laughs> your uh YouTube. I yeah. was in tears laughing by the way. Okay, good. You good. guys are so perfect. Together. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's just so good to see a couple that's so delicious. You're inspirational. Uh, um Thank you. I always worry about him when I see his stuff. You know, because he hasn't <laughs> lost the weight like you. You're, you're, you are three times healthier looking than any special I've seen on. Well, thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. That's um, that's And by the no, way, you're doing the work, man. You and look. This is going to make it so that your kids. You huh? you what? look incredible. You oh, look incredible. Yeah. I know that you're you've, fit. You're not uh, uh, from as, the same. As you the look incredible. Say, yeah. less. Yes, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I like to work out. It's obvious. I mean, you're, you're jacked. It's awesome. Um, it's, it is inspiring to see that too. Can I ask you one thing? Because we, um, Anything. we gotta, we have Not to jump, we have, we have to jump here, but if there's any other bit of ad advice where you can get to somebody who wants to get started in, in, I know you said to get the books and you know, the, the intuitive stuff about lovemaking, but like somebody who's looking for like, Oh, like a, a one thing you could say to a beginner who wants to up their skill, in that in that realm of being a great lover and maybe maintaining their ejaculation their ejaculate inside of like is there anything you could honestly point I should be putting ads out there for other people yeah there's an app called Dr Kegel oh if you don't have that app as a male mm -hmm. get it Dr Kegel all right all right and the Kegel app will make all the difference and the truth is because men aren't doing their Kegels and women are and that's a huge thing. Everybody needs to do their Kegels. Prostate health on both sides. Mandatory, mandatory, mandatory. If you don't have your Dante on your center line and your... your Doing them right now. Your lower abdominals mm. trained yep. properly. Mm. Yep. So your pelvic floor, as it said. Yep. If you don't have that trained properly, you're not going to age well. Now, yeah. this true. sounds crazy. It's true. But yeah. also, work on your grip. And you're like, what? How does that happen to do? Your feet... Your hands, your pelvic floor. Rex, thank you for picking thank up you, and thank you for chatting with us, man. We had a really good time talking to you and we love the posts. Thank you. Thank you for being the funniest people. Oh, on you're this sweet. Earth. Thank Rex. you, thank you, thank you. Um, well, 
he's a lovely guy. Well, isn't I mean, he? what a sweet guy. What and, a sweetheart. And I believe how that he really is genuinely that sweet. Yeah. And that is a Kegel actually. That is great because I, you know, there's some pussies that I remember where the women like they could make their basically their pussies talk. You know, they like mm -hmm. rawr, rawr, like that. And it's I think he said like it's good for women, but also the men we need to be doing that too. You gonna make your dicks dicks yeah. come up and down. Thank you for watching that highlight here from YMH Studios. That was a highlight or a clip, whichever word you prefer. You watched it, and there are so many more. Little bite-sized episode things. They're, in, they're Just click them. Maybe it's someone screaming or bleeding. Maybe it's just laughing at someone, making fun of them. <laughs>